Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we're going to do a three gun competition with three full size handguns. Here we have the Canik TP9 SFX competition model for Canik. And over here we've got the CZ75 SP01 Phantom. And this is a Walther Q5 match with the polymer frame. We're gonna talk about each of them rather quickly, take a few shots and then move on. Let's start out with the Canik. This is a very sharp gun, it's priced right. It offers so much. We'll start out with 20 round magazines. I've got 10 loaded up here. Canik calls it a single action trigger. It does have a trigger bar safety, very light trigger, striker fire indicator. It does have slide cuts right there, 1913 rail. Um, it, the list just goes on and on. It is optic ready. It includes four different plates. It has uh, various magazine release heights that you can change them out for. You can see it does have some slide cuts under the, the dust cover there. Fiber optic front sight, combat rear sight, 5.2 inch barrel. I mean, this gun is loaded down with various features and different things you could do with it. I really like the trigger pull though. Uh, 10 rounds here, let's see how it does. Canik says that you can buy this gun, head right to the range and begin competing with it and I have to agree. I think I mentioned 5.2 inch barrel. Now the only one that we have today that is double action, single action is the CZ75 SP01 Phantom and I, I really enjoy this gun. I also have the steel frame, this is the polymer frame and it too is a full size gun with a 4.6 inch barrel full 1913 rail on the dust cover, three dot sights, sights are rather small. This does have a decocker here, so it decocks it back into quarter cock, and it's, it's all CZ, interchangeable back straps, and one nice shooting handgun. 18 round magazine is what they offer, and the one thing with the CZ 75 models is that they have so many different magazines that will work because there are so many copies of this gun. I like this one though. This is one of my favorite CZ handguns. Let's see how it does. Yep, just as I remember it, what a nice shooter this is. Really like this. And uh, it's always performed very well. People say it's very similar to the CZ. 75 P09. Uh, I had the P07 for a while. I don't anymore, but I would like to do a comparison with the Phantom and the P09. Here we have the Q5 batch by Walther. This one is super cool. It does have the polymer frame. All the attention right now is on the steel frame model, but this is the polymer frame with the cross directional texturing on the grip. Has a magazine that holds 15 rounds, but what's interesting is that if you take that same magazine from the Canik TP9, SFX, it does work, and then you've got 20 rounds. Nice little thing to mention there. This also has slide cuts, a 1913 rail, fiber optic sight, uh, excellent trigger that breaks at 5.6 pounds, uh, a five inch barrel, that's why it's called a Q5 match. It's a, it's a great gun, and each of these you get a full three finger, full size grip on, on the gun, blacked out combat rear sights. And I've always shot this gun outstanding. Let's see how I do now. My sight's dropping. Let's see if I can drop it. Oh. I said my sight. I meant my target. I hope my sight's not dropping. I noticed I did miss one there. But there it is, guys. We've got the, the Walther Q5 match. The CZ75. SP-01 Phantom and the Canik TP-9 SFX. All these are, are phenomenal guns. Matter of fact, let's see if I can get all these in one shot here. There we go. All right. So let me know which one you like. Let me know which one you don't like. I'll be surprised if there's one that you don't like, but I'd really be interested to hear your thoughts on these three excellent 
full-size handguns. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.